Thank you very much. 20 to 7 is the time. It's long been said that a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down, but new research suggests that it could also make exercise easier. The scientists claim that adding a teaspoon to water may be more effective than some sports drinks. Our reporter Frankie McCamley is with some runners in northwest London this morning to see what they think. And very fit, nice and early. Morning, Frankie. Good morning from this extremely chilly park in North London this morning. Now, I'm not going to lie, you wouldn't usually find me here this early, but you would find these runners, these very enthusiastic runners behind me. Now, Charles, uh, good morning to you. Morning. Thanks for coming out. I mean, you'd be out here anyway, wouldn't you? Not quite this early, but yes, we'd all be out. Now, you run a running club. You've got about more than 100 people every week that yeah. come. Just tell me, you do 5K. How would you prepare this morning before your 5K? Personally, I'd get out of bed as late as possible and just come and run and then eat up afterwards but if I really was going to have something I'd grab a banana if I was up early enough I might have a quick bowl of cereal and a cup of tea but that would be it so none of these so you wouldn't get a sports drink before no, you went not 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 at this time of day not for the sort of distance we're doing but um, no I prefer running on a more or less empty stomach Ooh, well, what about a spoonful of sugar? How does that sound to you? I, it, it, as much as I've got a sweet tooth, that's the one thing I probably would never have tried. I, I would get accused of all kinds of things by my family if I saw me in the sugar bowl. OK, and there are all sorts of people that, um, that join you here. We've got Jill here, who's actually a professional athlete who's just about to run away. Um, now, you, you do lots of different sports. You've been competing professionally, haven't you? Well, I've been competing uh, for GB in um, the world... The, international uh, age group uh, duathlon championships in mm. Australia yeah, recently. So, and, and you would prepare how for international sports? Um, well, obviously I have quite an intense training schedule. Because I cycle and run, I have um, a schedule for both of those sports and I train between 10 and 15 hours a week right, okay. uh, on top of doing a full-time job. OK, wow, that's a lot to do. Well, Jill, thank you very much and we'll be speaking to a lot of these runners later. I'll let them run off now and uh, back to you guys in that lovely warm studio. Uh, we are enjoying it, Frankie. Thank you very much. It's joining us now is Javier Gonzalez from the University of Bath who led that morning. research. Uh, morning. Good morning to you. Hello. Interesting hearing how various people sort of go about their preparations, what they drink, what they don't drink. Just talk us through the science. What, what, have, you, what have you researched and what, what have you discovered? Yes. So um, we know that carbohydrates are a really important fuel source during almost all types of exercise. Um, and our bodies have their own carbohydrate stores in the liver and in the muscles. Um, if we exercise for more than an hour, then these stores that we have start to become quite low. And low levels are linked to early fatigue. So we wanted to know what happens if you consume sugar and different types of sugars during exercise. And traditionally, people would reach for one of, one of these uh, sport drinks as they're now sort of packaged, aren't they? Yes, uh, and sports drinks um, vary in the ingredients they use. So um, some will use glucose only, some use sucrose, which is the other sugar we used in this study, um, and some use a combination of various different types. So you looked at different types of sugar, and you probably have to break it down for me. So you're saying white sugar, brown sugar, um, refined, certain refined sugars? So we compared glucose with something called sucrose, and it's the sucrose that is just like your table sugar at home. And that combines two um, different sugars within it. So it has glucose also, but also fructose. Um, and we think that if you consume multiple sources of carbohydrate, you can absorb these more quickly from the stomach and intestine and get more into the bloodstream. So the, the top line on the research, as I understand it, is that if you have a, a bottle of water and add sugar to it, and that's conventional sugar, is it just that the sugar you might find, white, white sugar or whatever, that, yes. that can do more for you than a, the, other, a, any other form of drink? Potentially. So we didn't actually, so we didn't see an improvement in performance because we didn't measure that. Um, but people tolerated the table sugar, the sucrose, better than the glucose. What does so, tolerate mean? So as in they, um, their stomach felt more comfortable. And all of this, is this also not taking food on at the same time? Because that would affect also the way you absorb carbohydrates? So, yes, or... absolutely. Uh, we only tested drinks because it was a tightly controlled study. Um, but you could use carbohydrate and sugary-based foods like bananas and, and so on. You know what's going to happen? Lots of people who will be going out to do their sport today are going to have loads of questions. And are you going to come back later for us, a bit later on? Yeah. I'm, I so maybe we'll talk through some of those sure. as well. Thank you very Great. much.